Hi, I'm Prabhash and you are watching Engineer's Fate. Today, it's my first video of solving all those get questions. I will solve all those get questions that have been asked in the past get examination. Whatever the important points, concepts and techniques are there, I will take those concepts, techniques from that chapter and I will include those techniques in get problems only. In previously, I have described precipitation in my short videos. So, in in that short videos I have included all those important points from examination point of view so just if you haven't watched that video I just recommend you just try to play that short video of quick revision of precipitation before proceeding today's class I just want you to give you some suggestions that is applicable for upcoming videos so whenever I am going to solve a question just pause the video yourself first and try to find the answer yourself first then replay the video and try to see whatever the answer i am get getting and if you have getting that answer i think you have understand those things in the past videos so let's begin with today's question the today's question is asked in gate 91 so let me tell you pause the video so let me explain the question is tropical cyclone in a northern hemisphere is a wind stream width so last time i have described what is a cyclone cyclone generally occurs in low pressure zone and the direction i have told you is anti-clockwise so the answer is c to begin the next question that is asked in gate 97 so hetograph is a graph representing i have told you what is hetograph is so hetograph is nothing but it's a graph fall intensity with time so hetograph is a graph between rainfall intensity and time let's move further let us move further and solve the question asked in gate 2003 first this is the mass of the least uh, type of question and I just want to give you advice that just match the things which you have know first I have taken this question intentionally because I just want to show you something how to proceed this kind of question so the first is rainfall intensity rainfall intensity I have taught you in the previous video rainfall excess I haven't told you rainfall averaging also i haven't told you but i have discussed briefly about mass curve in the previous video so how to proceed this kind of question just try to match the thing which you have know first so rainfall intensity rainfall intensity you can match with by seeing the following options with hetograph though hetograph is a graph between rainfall intensity with time then you can see that p with 3 again p with 3 you can find two options so option a and option c are eliminated then you don't know rainfall excess and rainfall averaging but you know about mass curve and you can match mass curve with cumulative excess rainfall so you can find there is a only option in which is matching with option 2 so that you can match with option B so the answer of the question is option B so next solve the question asked in gate 2005 solve the question that has been asked in gate 2005 let's move further and solve this question in the gate 2005 this question has asked the intensity of rainfall and time interval of a tropical storm are so the time interval is given in this column and each interval is of 10 minutes you can see the intensity of rainfall is also given in co this column and the intensity value is given in mm per minute the maximum intensity of rainfall for 20 minutes he has asked the maximum intensity so maximum intensity been asked for 20 minutes so how to solve this question so for at first I need to select the maximum intensity from this column first and you can see the maximum intensity value is 2.2 for this question so 
the maximum intensity you can find 2.2 for 10 minutes again you have to uh, select another intensity value as this intensity value of 2.2 is for 10 minutes only so for 20 minutes you have to select another intensity value just adjacent to 2.2 value so you can find that 1.5 is greater than 1.1 so you have selected two intensity values 2.2 and 1.5 for 20 minutes interval again you have to find maximum intensity so what is maximum intensity maximum intensity equal to maximum precipitation depth divided by total time so at first I need to find the precipitation death first so from this table I want to find my first precipitation depth intensity is given as 2.2 and time interval is given in the previous class I have told you that intensity I equal to P by T so intensity is given is 2.2 mm per minute equal to precipitation value P I have to find by time interval T is given in minutes that is 10 minutes so implies that I can find that precipitation first precipitation p value as 2.2 mm per minute into 10 minutes minute and minute getting cancelled so I can find the p as 2.2 into 10 mm similarly I can find the second value as precipitation P2 equal to 1.5 into 10 mm so what is the maximum intensity I can find maximum precipitation depth that is 2.2 into 10 plus 1.5 into 10 and total time total time he has asked for 20 minutes so you can find the answer and the answer will be B as 1.85 mm per minute so what is he has asked in centimeter per hour so you can find as 1 mm is 10 to the power minus 1 centimeter as 1 centimeter equal to 10 mm you know so that 1 mm equal to 10 to the power minus 1 centimeter and per minute you know one hour equal to 60 minutes implies that one minute equal to 1 by 60 hour so what if he has asked in centimeter per hour just simply write that 1.85 into mm to centimeter into 10 to the power minus 1 centimeter divided by minute to hour 1 by 60 hour so equal to 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 1 into 60 centimeter per hour i hope you have understood this question and this finishes today's video i hope you have solved your question yourself at first by pausing the video